A lot of people, this is Eitan. Uh, I'm gonna fix the camera a bit. Okay, this is Eitan, and uh, today I'm gonna make a pro and cons review on the Microtech Stockholm Elite. Uh, I chose the Drop Point M390 version. This one is from uh, 2018. Uh, there is a whole family of those uh, knives uh, Tanto version, other steel versions, uh, uh, automatic, uh, uh, limited editions, uh, etc. Those are made by Microtech in the US. Um, the blade is a uh, five millimeter thickness, which is uh, kind of thick for a uh, folding knife. The blade length is uh, four inches, which is around 100 millimeters, 10, 10 centimeters. The weigh is around 145 grams, which is 5.14 uh, ounces. And the uh, price running on this one is around $270. This is the manual version, the um, line lock version. So uh, let's make a, a bit of a size comparison and we'll dive in. So uh, this is uh, near the PM2, okay, a bit bigger. This is near the paramilitary, the military, Spiderco military. As you see, it's uh, the military is a bit bigger than this one. This is near the Benchmade uh, Griptilian. Uh, the handle is modified, so take this under consideration. This is near the ZT0562, the handle is also modified but it doesn't uh, change the length. And I over here a Lion Steel SR2, uh, so uh, this is the smaller version. Okay, so let's go into the pros and the cons of this knife. So the pros. Let's talk about the blade. The blade has a wonderful steel. The M390 of Bowler is one of the finest wear resistance uh, steels. It's a stainless steel with a good uh, edge retention, uh, high resistance to wear. Uh, it has a similar other steels, um, uh, similar like um, CTS 204P, like uh, CPM S20V, uh, stuff like that, you know. Uh, we have over here a flat portion and we have a uh, uh, gentle curved portion the blade is a uh, drop point so uh, you have uh, multiple options how to use the, the knife shortcut draw cut push cut uh, it goes it works all the way uh, you have over here um, as you see um, sort of a char sharpening tool which is also uh, an advantage uh, and you have a very very tough tip the knife came with fit and finish very very nice almost identical each side uh, the apex is very aggressive um, uh, grind to high polish and very aggressive so um, it's very good and the thumb stud is not uh, in the slicing path it's very very close to the base of the of the blade uh, so it's very nice we also have over here a uh, jimping if we we want to have more control on on the blade and it's not aggressive jimping i can use it with gloves or without gloves without any concern that it will i don't know uh, make too much hot spots on my uh, on my hand on my fingers uh, the handle is made out of al aluminium it's very light and it's very smooth so uh, it's nice to hold it it has over here this um, not plastic uh, I forgot how they call the, the is this material but it adds extra grip the handle is a bit slippery but they add a jimping here and jimping here and here so uh, I I try to press and it's not it's a good design it's not aggressive cut but it it catches your fingers very very good so it has a secure uh, uh, grip and also this part is why it's it's more wide okay so it keeps your finger uh, in the spot it's not as a, a knife guard but uh, it's very nice and secure so although the handle is smooth uh, uh, it feels very very secure in the hand which is very very good and it's uh, also have uh, this uh, the back side is at least uh, it's not as wide as the front side so it's a bit ergonomic it has this uh, square you know uh, shape uh, which can bother but uh, i'm talking about the pros now not uh, the cons so uh, it's very nice you have over here um uh, a glass breaker and a window breaker or whatever uh, and notice that it is made out, out of a ball bearing it's not uh, pointy uh, and all of the knife uh, all of the handle if you close it okay 
there are no pointy parts, which is very, very important. Uh, if you open the knife, except this one, but it's not that, that one, except if you open the blade. So it's very nice. As you carry it, you don't have, you know, all stuff that uh, pointy sharp points that can stuck and tear your clothes or stuff like that. I like this uh, ad approach to uh, a window breaker, which is not uh, pointy, but it's as efficient. So it's very, very nice. Um, uh, the action on this knife is very, very good. Uh, it had a, a bit of a hard detent, but I'll talk about it later. But after it opened, uh, it's it's working very very nice uh, it's open smooth uh, as you've seen I open it with that finger and it's not easy uh, it reacts very very good uh, you can make it free fall shoddy you know and it won't uh, do any problem easy to maintain by, by the way I took it apart and took it to, to, together so it's very nice the blade was very very centered and the weight uh, it weighs around 144 grams look I'm gonna show you now it is a big knife so 145 grams 146 okay grams uh, uh, i can talk in ounces if it will make things more easier 5.15 ounces is not that heavy for that knife because if you compare it to spyderco military titanium you see six ounces and if we compare it to uh, zt 05 uh, uh, 62 5.7 so it's not that terrible you know, uh, it's not as light as the pm2 and this one uh, we with carbon with carbon fiber handles but for this is size of a knife well uh, i think it's a very very nice weight so i put it as an advantage over here in this particular uh, uh, time so uh, let's talk about the disadvantage well the blade is very thick. It's not one of the best slicers you'll ever know. It's a tough knife and it's made to cut through. It will cut through tires and cardboard and stuff like that. You won't make any salad with, with it or it won't be nice and easy. You won't make gentle cuts. You can, but, uh, by the way, with the tip or with this portion, you can. But uh, this knife is very thick. Now, another problem I have that they put the grind not, it's not a full flat or full, or, they started the grind over here. Maybe they wanted to give this, uh, I don't know, a bit more strength over here, but uh, I, I would prefer if they would start the, the grind at the top, it will give you a smaller angle and it will be a better slicer from my opinion. Uh, but uh, this is what they chose and this is what they do. Uh, it can cut very, very aggressively. It have a very aggressive apex. Uh, through soft and gentle materials well it won't be you know five millimeter thickness it's not uh, it's not thin it's not slimy knife so you should take it under consideration now uh, on the detent the detent was very very hard when I got it I'm talking about almost tore my 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 skin here okay I bled it was very hard to open it took time until it was open and now it's fine but uh, I don't know maybe they should do something about it it was very unpleasant to open this knife um, uh, at the start and I'm not talking about that the first two days okay um, so uh, another thing that uh, they can uh, improve uh, the pocket clip the pocket clip is is well designed and it's sort of a deep carry okay but uh, it has also this uh, place over here which adds extra grip and it's smooth and it won't tear your jeans but but you can only carry it in one position some people it's a deal breaker for them I'm not uh, I don't care too much but for some people if you only can carry a tip down right side or uh, they won't use the knife and I think that um, they can uh, do something that uh, improve that uh, Maybe put it over here. I took apart the knife and I think uh, it's a valuable option to put it over here. So uh, one more thing. Now, uh, the last thing is the price. Uh, it costs $270 uh, dollars for this model. I think it's a bit pricey uh, if you uh, compare it to the competition. And I'll, talking about, and I'll talk about it at the uh, bottom line. So, and we're getting to the bottom line. So as for design, 
Well, uh, it's a very nice design, uh, what we call tactical design, black, and, uh, and uh, whoever like this start uh, tactical design, I like it. Uh, it's a fine knife. Uh, the blade design is kind of simple, a bit thick, to my opinion, uh, and the grind can be a bit higher, but um, it's not, you know, some sort of a dragon style, style knife or odd knife. It's a simple uh, draw point with a thick point. Um, blade, uh, long blade, <coughs> uh, ergonomic, kind of er ergonomic handle. Uh, I said that, that I talk about it, well, it looks like a bit of a, um, not a square, triangle, how you say it? Uh, no, no triangle, um, um, how you say, a long square, never mind. Bah, um, I told you, I'm not a native in the speaker. So, uh, this shape, if it would be more rounded, uh, Demco does it on its custom and other uh, rounded handles or or shape. It will be more uh, fun to hold with your bare hands. So uh, it's something to to improve. And uh, the clip point is a bit of the the, the, the the fit and finish and the materials. The fit and finish is great, really. It's it it was centered. Everything was symmetrical. Everything in spot. Uh, really. It was a very, very nice knife. Uh, the materials, no complaints here. Uh, high grade, uh, how they call it, flight grade, but, but never mind. Good aluminium, good uh, screws, uh, excellent uh, blade steel, titanium. Uh, I, no, yeah, I think it's titanium over here. Very, very nice. Uh, very, they did the effort to make this knife lighter. Um, I think it's CNC machined uh, aluminium, but but uh, one issue that uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not such of a fan of aluminium, by the way. Uh, uh, I saw Nick Shabazz mentioning about the T6 screws in, on his videos, and I tend to agree, T6 screws are very, very annoying. <laughs> uh, please use T8, uh, <laughs> don't use T6. Uh, it's really, um, how to say, if... Um, the tools and the bits they tend to uh, wear out very 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 fast and it's too bad so use to create it will be better uh, now as for functionality well it's a working tool it's a good tool uh, um, it's easy to handle it will do the work I don't see any uh, problems with the design you know something critical some people would say that the locking mechanism is an issue and only tried lock or Lockback will be safe enough, but it depends how you use the knife. If you stand up a concrete wall or a wood, then uh, and uh, yapping about it, so maybe it uh, it can fail on you. I don't know, <laughs> uh, but I I never encountered that, and I hope I will not not ever encounter the liner lock that failed me while I'm using it. And it seems pretty secure to me, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. So uh, it's uh, to summarize it. It's a um, sort of aggressive knife, good slicer with good wear resistance. It's not sorry, not a good slicer. It's a good hard use folder, you know, for hard tasks. The blade geometry can be improved. Now, uh, if you like it, if you like the design, it's okay. You can go ahead and get it. It's a good knife. Uh, there is no, no, nothing critical about it. But I think if you are looking for a hard use folder and you're doing your pro and cons and thinking about budget, so you can find the ZT over here is a good competition, a bit cheaper and I think it's better. Um, in uh, several of uh, options, it's a flipper. It weighs a bit more, but it costs less. And the blade still is similar. The blade grind is better in this one and it will perform uh, uh, okay uh, you can use also the ZT0095 which I reviewed and you have other options uh, out there you can al also use the military but the, the military blade is not as strong as the as the ZT or as the Microtech so if you like it uh, it's a good purchase I think it's a bit pricey and you have a uh, competition out there that you can uh, use it, but uh, that you can find cheaper. But 
if you like it to go, uh, it won't be a bad uh, purchase. It will be a great purchase, and I think uh, you'll enjoy it. I enjoy mine. Uh, so uh, thanks, and hope it helped someone. Bye.